Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. I am in the sauna right now, sweating my butt off. This is just gonna be like a weekend vlog of me and little man, or little man and I. Um, it's been a while since I've actually done like a full weekend vlog or a full weekly vlog, and I really miss them. Christian was just acting so cute the other night, and we were having just like mommy sun time. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sweating my butt off in here. And I was just wishing that I was filming it. So I need to get back to actually not just sit down videos, but vlogging more. And I think you guys also like that better, just like following along someone's life. Um, Oh my god, it is, look, like 180 in here. My lens keeps getting all fogged up. But I just recorded my full workout for you guys. I didn't have time to do, like, an intro clip, so I'm doing it now at the end of the workout. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I think it's, yeah, like 180 degrees in here. Um, finally got my resistance in bands in the mail that I ordered from Amazon, so I used those in this workout, so you'll see those. It was pretty much like a lower body booty workout because my shoulder, my right shoulder, is still so messed up. I don't know what I did. I was doing lateral raises like a week and a half ago with like 17 and a half pounds on each side, which is very heavy for me, but I could do it. It wasn't like hurting at the time. And then the day after it literally felt like I like cracked my shoulder cap right here. Like every time I even lift up or anything, it's so bad. Ooh, but I see the progress though. Dang, what's up? Um, yeah, I can definitely see like more, as I'm leaning out more, I can see like more muscles coming through. It's just really exciting. Um, but yeah, I've been starting my workouts off with 10 minutes in the sauna, sorry, I can barely breathe in here, and then 10 minutes at the end. So I had like a 50, 45, 50 minute workout. Now I'm ending in the sauna. Oh my God, I'm like dripping sweat, but it feels so good. I'm making so much progress on my cut. And like, I'm just feeling amazing. This is the best I've felt in probably like two years, no joke. Because the last time I le really leaned down was like two summers, two, almost three summers ago now. And we all know it was for a guy who really had no interest in me. So I was doing it for the total wrong reason, gained the weight back. And now I'm doing it for myself. And you guys have been telling me on social media that I look so much happier, so much genuinely happier. And I am, because I'm doing it for me. And I just feel great. And I feel so blessed just for everything in life right now. For all of you who've decided to join my Girl Boss Academy, my Instagram and YouTube masterclass, the amount of support I've had on that has been amazing, which is so fulfilling to me because I worked very hard on creating everything for you guys. I'm just enjoying life with Christian lately. Just everything. I'm just a real, I'm a real grateful human lately. So yeah. Um, but yeah, let's get into the full workout I did. We'll shoot into that and then I'll see you guys back in the car or out running errands because I'm just going to film our entire weekend with Little Man. So please give it a thumbs up. Please give the video a thumbs up. I really, really do appreciate it. Drop a comment if you would like. I'd love to have you subscribe and yeah. <laughs> After the workouts I had to change my entire top situation because that's how sweaty I got in this workout guys I sweat through my entire sports bra and shirt so I just brought this as a backup um, but yeah we're just gonna be out mwah, running some errands I just got little man this new full Adidas outfit for his birthday I thought it was so cute show him 
and I got him like the matching I got the camo NMDs for myself and I got him the cute little matching toddler ones I'll show you try to show you guys a picture. They're super cute um, But we have a bunch of errands to run I have so many clothes to drop off at savers just a bunch of stuff that doesn't fit anymore a lot of stuff I want to donate we got to stop by Ashley furniture because when I first moved into my condo I financed some of my furniture so I have to go pay that off um and I told, hmm, I told Christian if he was good today, we could go to Toys R Us, but we can't get a Nerf gun because this kid has 20 plus Nerf guns and that's all he wants. And the darts are everywhere. Mom's out there, you feel me? Like, sometimes we can't even find the darts. That's all he wants to consistently get. And I'm totally down with him getting a toy like once or twice a week if he's really good and cleans his room and does his chores and stuff. I'm trying to be a little bit stricter on my discipline with him, but not a Nerf gun every time. I really want you to pick out like an educational toy today, maybe like a laptop or something that teaches you your words and your sentences, but no guns, okay? But I don't, I like toys. There is lots of toys. Lots of toys. Right. But there's a huge variety of toys that we need to check out and not just a gun, okay? Okay. Okay, Mom? Are you tired? Mm. Of course, the minute we go out, he's going to be like tired for his nap. But anywho, he said he had to use the restroom, so first stop, Dunkin' Donuts. I'll show you guys what I get. I think I'm just going to get a coffee. It's 1.40. I haven't broke my fast yet, um, but I'll probably get some cream in the coffee, so it probably will break my fast. Mm. I love you. And then we'll go to... Toys R Us, so silly. So yeah, then we'll run our errands, so let's go. All right, so we're back home. We finished up all of our other errands. Hello. <gasps> Hi. Hi. After um, Toys R Us, instead of filming my other errands, we just got them done quicker so we could get back home. Um, I came home to two different packages, so I think I'll do a little like unboxing haul after this portion of the video. We'll shoot into that. Um, but we just had some lunch. We were watching an episode of Jane the Virgin, which is hilarious. I was asking you guys on Twitter for any good like Spanish movie or TV show recommendations, um, just because I don't like to lose it because I don't have anyone to speak Spanish with in my family, but I still love the language so much and I think it's so beautiful and I always like to watch TV shows and stuff to just keep it like fresh in my memory. Um, Jane the Virgin is only like maybe 20, 30% Spanish, but it's so funny. I love the main character girl. I forget her actual real name, um, but she's beautiful. It's such a funny show. So yeah, we were just watching a little bit of that. Christian was doing a little coloring. But yeah, right now we're actually just gonna do a little bit of meal prep. So I figured I would film this. What are you doing? Yeah, mom. Um, we're gonna use some of these frozen veggies as well. I saw this recipe. I'm trying to remember who I saw it from. I think it was High Carb Hannah or Nikki Philippi, but it's a super easy one pot crock pot situation so hold on baby I'm gonna show them and then we're gonna have you make it okay <laughs> so we're gonna use a full thing of organic low sodium vegetable broth we're basically making like a noodle veggie soup so I just have tons of different seasonings some garlic powder mrs. dash we're just gonna throw in this full thing of veggie broth and then probably fill up like two of these with water to add in there and we're gonna cook it on high probably for like four to five hours then at the end after it's been cooking for a few hours we're gonna take some chow mein noodles and we're gonna pop them in there so it's like a veggie noodle soup if you will um, it looked super good I want to say it was Nikki's channel that I saw it on it looked amazing so we're gonna try it out Okay, let's. All right, now it's gonna cook in there, baby. We gotta put it on high 
and we're gonna come back in four hours. What's up? It is now Sunday. Um, it's actually pretty late in the afternoon. I didn't have too much to vlog for you this morning. To be honest, Christian and I completely overslept. Um, we did some grocery shopping. We went to church and Christian actually just spent the past like two hours with my mom um, because I was filming two new modules for my Instagram masterclass. I come out with new videos for all the current students Mondays and Fridays and today's Sunday so I need to have a new video module ready for tomorrow and I was just putting some additional touches on my Instagram ebook because that just came out. I was like revising a few things, adding a few graphics. Um, I actually got a bunch of mail today as well so I wanted to do a little haul with you guys. Um, I got this entire package from Hot Miami Styles and then I told you in the last clip that I had got a new box of mail from Elf. Oh, my mom's calling. All right, the haul is gonna actually have to wait till we get back. My mom's actually outside with my son. They're picking me up to go to sushi for dinner. Um, so we will grab my wallet, grab my phone. Um, we're gonna go grab some sushi, and then when we get home later tonight, actually, I'll film like what we do with Christian right now. We're about to take him out. And then when I get home later tonight, I'm gonna go through these boxes with you guys. You brought a guitar for sushi tonight? You're gonna sing for us as we eat or what? You are so cute. Hi. Hi. I gotta you look like it. you're a I'm member of like it. a little bunda who's gonna sing for us during our dinner. Look at him tap it. Who taught you how to tap it like that? I don't know. So cute. You don't know? I you're so it. cute. I can do it. I love that we're vlogging this weekend. We can catch all your cute little moments on camera, homie. Oh, you're dabbing me now? Oh, okay. We're trying out a new sushi place tonight, Saki Sushi. I've never been here, my mom's recommendation though. Probably gonna get Christian like some noodles. I've sushi. You're gonna eat sushi? Yeah. I was thinking if I got the um, mix and match. Right? What'd you draw, baby? I draw a handle and a door and, and, and a house and, and mommy and me. Me and you? Hey, I think we got like a future Picasso on our hands. Good job. So we just ended up getting two dinner plates. I went completely vegetarian and just got the veggie rolls. I believe this is some kind of like soy or teriyaki sauce. Um, what are these called? Like veggie dumplings? Like wonton. Oh, wontons. Rice and then just a Philly roll. And then my mom just got the same thing with a spicy tuna roll. Little man's having some rice. Is it good, baby? Is it yummy? All right, what's up you guys? So it's now Monday morning. I actually didn't have anything else to film yesterday, Sunday night after we went to sushi. I was just enjoying some family time with my mom and Christian and we didn't really do much after. We just went to her house and had a little work day on our computers and just played with Christian and he went to bed. Um, but I did tell you guys in one of the earlier clips, I wanted to show you some stuff that I ended up getting in the mail. I think I'm gonna save the Hot Miami Styles clothing for a full try on haul because I was looking through the package and I didn't know what was in there because they sent me a care package and there's a ton of outfits. Like that in itself could be its whole like own video. I know a lot of you guys really like try on hauls and I'm very curious because I ordered a few different sizes as I'm losing weight to kind of see what fits. So I'm really excited to just like kind of measure my progress and try all that stuff on. So I'll probably make that its own video, but I wanted to end off this video with a little haul. Um, so I just came down in my beauty room. I'm hoping the lighting always looks a little bit dark. Um, with this camera for some reason, but I actually have three studio lights on in front of me. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go over all the e.l.f. stuff, um, some of the resistance bands I got for my workout. I just wanna include like everything and make this like a really long vlog, if that's cool with you guys, if I like jumble a bunch of stuff in here. But something that I did wanna mention that I was so, 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 you can see the ring light in it, so, so, so excited and just really emotional over. Um, the other day I finally got my plaque in the mail for hitting 100,000 subscribers and I believe I hit that milestone, I wanna say like a year and a half ago. YouTube is known for taking forever to like send these out to people, but I wasn't able to like submit to actually get this until I signed with my new network and like, or my new like management team, they updated my address and I should've got this a really long time ago. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's like, it's so crazy. I got it in the mail and I just got really emotional because YouTube, I feel like I say this so much, it may sound repetitive, but YouTube has been such a blessing for me that I can't even explain. Like it started out just as something I loved, just turning on the camera and documenting. Like if you're new to my channel, the whole reason I even started my channel uh, almost four years ago now was I was a single mom with my son and I wanted to document for myself our journey and I knew that I was gonna have some type of social media business but I didn't know what yet and I was kind of just like taking little steps and I just wanted to film my day-to-day -day life with my son just being a single mom and I was like at the very beginning I was like I'm gonna look back at this in three or four or five years 
and my life is my quality of life is going to be so different like i believed in myself so much that i was going to make money and grow up my audience like i didn't know how but i just thought so far ahead i was like i want to film all the steps of my journey so i have like a video vlog to look back on it was more for me this was way before i even knew youtube could make any money or you could have like all these subscribers and brand deals it wasn't about that at all like i genuinely loved watching other girls on youtube there was the beauty community and everything was so small when i started i watched um nicole like six years ago or something and then i found like heart what's her youtube i love heart or something she's incredible like i watched like the og people way back then and i was just like you know what i could do this and i just turned on my camera and i started to like do my own thing and slowly over time my audience grew and you know it's hard to not compare yourself because i see other friends of mine who now have like two three million subscribers and like everyone's doing their thing and i think that's so amazing i always like preach on my channel that i truly believe there's enough success to go around and i'm so happy for those people that they are able to have that big of an impact and like an audience size like that but even for me, like almost being at 400K, like to me, that's a lot. Like that's crazy. That's so insane that that many people would take an interest in my life and want to follow along my daily life with Christian, like my Girl Boss series where I help you guys to grow up your following and build your business, knowing that my informational like tips in those, those videos have helped you guys and that you keep coming back for more. Like there is nothing more fulfilling. YouTube has been so incredible for me. I don't want to get like too emotional, like drag this part out, but I am so grateful for you guys. I just want you to know, thank you for coming back, for letting me share all the parts of my life. I try to be very transparent on my channel. Like a few weeks ago, I literally put up a video of me like crying on the kitchen floor because I was just having a bad day, like going through emotions. Like people, I think people tend to forget that if you're on social media or you have a following, you don't go through shit or just because you start making money, you're, all your problems go away. Like, no, I try to keep it as transparent as possible with you guys and share the good and the bad. What I'm saying is it's an insane amount of people who've decided to tune in and like v watch my life as I go, you know, and I just want to say thank you. Having, I remember when I hit 100,000, it was like, it was just crazy to think that many people would hit subscribe at some point to tune in to a portion of my life. So you guys are amazing. You have made this passion into a job for me and I cannot thank you enough. I love you. I know everyone comments your intros are too long, your outros are too long. Like cuz I always give a little synopsis of like who I am and I say thank you so much for coming back, but I don't care if that takes an extra 10 or 15 seconds. I'm appreciative for you guys and I just I don't know, like I'm one of those people I just have to make sure that you know it in every video. So yeah, I think I hit that milestone a while back. They finally sent the plaque. It was like just emotional for me, you know? Something that started out so fun for me that I am so blessed to even say is my job now. So you guys are amazing. I'm hanging that up back here. Or actually, I don't know if I'm gonna hang it up because I'm gonna move soon. I don't wanna put another hole in the wall, but very excited. This is gonna go in my new office, in my new house. And I just love you guys. Like, thank you for that. That plaque is for us, so. Anywho, done with the corniness. Moving on, I showed you guys in one of the last clips, I wanted to just show you a few things that I recently got. So we're gonna talk about a fitness thing and then move right into makeup, totally unrelated. But I finally picked up some resistance bands from Amazon. I used to use these a long time ago. I know resistance bands recently have gotten super popular on like Instagram and stuff. They're really good to just train glutes and legs. Um, so some of them go from a very, very light resistance all the way to like super heavy. So I used a bunch of them in the workout clips at the beginning of this vlog. Um, so it just comes with two lighter ones and then these heavy ones are like extremely heavy. Like you could barely, ugh. If you like put this up on your legs and then you're trying to do squats, you're gonna be burning. Like they're very, very, um, what's it called? Just like super tight. But yeah, they're excellent for growth glute and for glute growth, can I even talk? And leg day, these were super cheap. I actually got them from Amazon. They had a five star rating. They also came with a little like carrying case, which I thought was cute. I can link this exact set down below if you guys are curious. I know a lot of you are following me for like the fitness stuff. So I will have those linked down there. And then I made a huge order from e.l.f. I wanna say like a week and a half ago. It's just been sitting in my kitchen. You would think this was like a care package or it was sponsored because there's so much in there, but no. Uh, they were just having a huge sale, so I just decided to purchase a ton of stuff because if you've been around a while, I'm all about affordable beauty. I haven't like stepped into a Sephora and I don't even know how long. I'm just trying to save my money and when I do want to like stock up on cosmetics, I try to find really affordable things that I love. Uh, but you know, Elf, if you want to sponsor your girl at any point, I've talked about them so much on my channel. Their products literally range from one to like 10 bucks. Like you cannot beat it. So a lot of the stuff I got was repurchases, but they did have a whole new studio line, which I think now ranges from like three to six bucks. So I picked up a ton of that stuff just cause I wanted to try some new stuff. There's like 50 products in here. So I'm not gonna go through it all, but 
wanted to show you guys a few things I got. These are the new Studio Blushes. I believe they're only three bucks. I just picked up a light pinky color that I know I'm gonna wear. Um, also, the YouTube channel I was talking about before from Heart, she actually made a collaboration with e.l.f., which I didn't know till I was on the site. It's called the e.l.f. Heart Defensor Palette. It's a super beautiful highlighter and bronzer like combo. Um, I thought that'd be really pretty and I'm always down to buy like YouTube collaborations and support that person. I think having any type of brand collaboration is a really big deal and I just like to support other people in the YouTube community. Um, so I have used a ton of e.l.f. blushes and what, what else? Brushes and eye palettes, but I'm never one to like buy their foundation. Foundation is one thing I do buy from like Sephora. The skin to me is the most important part. Um, so I've never purchased a really cheap foundation, but in this order I actually ordered some powders and one foundation just to see how it would look and what the consistency is because they are so, so cheap. Um, so I ordered this finishing powder. Let me know if you guys have ever tried it. It looks pretty smooth. I mean, it looks good. Um, I'm always a little skeptical about skin products that are really cheap, but all the blushes and stuff I've bought from them have always been great. They came out with these new prismatic, like holographic lip glosses. It was like three bucks. Decided I would try that. Also, I was going through my collection the other day of makeup, just like in general, and I didn't have like any highlighters. I went through and did like a makeup purge a while back, and I just threw away a lot of stuff I haven't been using. Um, and again, I don't want to go spend like 30 bucks on a highlighter, so these were three dollars each, so I just picked up all three. They've got like a bronzy, a champagne, and then a more pinky toned one. But I've used their highlighters before, they're totally fine. I mean, for three bucks, like they look great, so I just figure like, why buy more, you know? I don't know, with me like wanting to purchase my home soon, I'm always trying to just buy everything on a budget and save where I can. This is just a black pot gel liner. Again, I think it was three bucks. This was one of their new eyeshadow palettes, which I'm pretty stocked up on eyeshadow palettes. I really didn't need another one, but it was neutral. So if I do like travel or want to take it on the go, I figure it's like colors I'll actually use. Um, so just a bunch of browns. This could also double as a brow palette, actually. These colors right here. Ooh, yeah. Just dip an angled brush in there and like take this for travel. And again, I think it was literally six bucks, comes with a huge mirror. Then these two brushes were just repurchases. Um, the bigger one is to set concealer, or to set like finishing powder underneath your eyes, and the smaller one here is for highlight. I think these were again like three bucks, so I've purchased these for like two years. The quality's always been totally fine. No hairs have like fallen out or anything. Like they're not, like they're cheap because they're affordable, but they're not like cheaply made, which I love. And I know Elf is really popular for their brushes, but if hairs do fall out or I have to repurchase it for whatever reason, like it's $3, it's fine. And another thing I was like skeptical of is I've never tried concealer from them. I think this was like two bucks. So I will keep you guys updated on if this, like how the coverage is and stuff for the cost. I mean, that's like a third of it. I don't want to go sit here and go through every product and bore you guys, but I did a little poll on my Insta story asking if I should mix like beauty haul stuff with fitness and just make like one big ass vlog. And all of you were like, yeah, like we miss your vlogs. Um, so anyways, I think that will, uh, I was going to say conduct. I think that will conclude this video. I'm pretty sure it's pretty long by now. If you stayed till the end, you are the real OG. I appreciate you. Like I said before in my little like speech, I appreciate you guys coming back for every video, no matter if it's, if you're just here for the fitness or the weight loss, it's fine. If you're here for vlogs and to see my life with my son, I also appreciate that. You just tuning in at all truly does mean a lot to me. Um, if you were new here, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell to know when I upload because I know Ugh, so frustrating, but the YouTube uploads lately, a lot of people don't get notified, pretty much unless you hit the bell. I may or may not be in your subscription box with the way the new algorithm with YouTube is set up, which is frustrating, but I just ask, please go ahead and hit that if you want to see my future videos. I'd love to have you guys also on my Instagram and my Snapchat family. All of my social media accounts are public, so I'll have them linked below. I also finally launched my YouTube and my Instagram masterclass where I teach you guys everything I've learned about growing up an engaged organic audience and maximizing your revenue on both platforms. So I'd love to have you in those classes. If you have your own business and you want to grow on social media, all that info is in the down bar. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. I love you. And I already have a new video on deck for tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you then.